using math in the GED science exam. A video study guide lesson brought to you by gedstudyguide.org. Even though it's classified as science, you will still be expected to know some math topics and concepts throughout the GED science exam. In the science exam, you will be asked to make calculations, evaluate charts and data, and draw conclusions based on information. Today we're going to break up mathematical information so that you can easily apply it to exam questions. Ready? Let's start by discussing measures of central tendency. Scientists used central tendency when evaluating graphic representations of data like charts and graphs. Measures of central tendency include mean, median, and mode. Mean is the average of the numerical data. To find the mean, add all of the values together and then divide the sum by the total number of items in the data set. Let's practice using a set of data. This chart tells us how much snow fell over the course of four years. The first thing we're going to do is add the values to find the sum. We get 763. Then we divide the sum by the number of variables, which is 4. We get our answer to be 190.75. So what does this mean? Well, this tells us that over four years, the average snowfall was 190.75 inches of snow. Let's now discuss median. The median is the middle value in a set of data. To find the median, arrange the values by size from smallest to largest, and then find the mean of the two middle values. Let's assume that we have already lined up our data in numerical order. Look, here it is. So we first find the two middle values. Then we add the two middle numbers together and we divide by two to find the median. So what does that mean? Well, this means that the middle number in the data is 22.5. Let's now discuss mode. Mode is the value that appears the most in the data. I like to remember mode by remembering that mode and most both start with M-O. To find the mode, count the number of times each value appears in the data. It is possible that a set of data may have more than one mode or may only have each number appearing once. If this occurs, there is no mode. Let's practice using these values. Organize the data by the number of times each value is found. Here we see that 91 occurs the most. Now you take some time to practice the problems finding mean, median, and mode. For more information, visit gedstudyguide.org. Click the link below to subscribe. Click the link below to subscribe.